Good afternoon. Our week this week is going to be dominated by a westerly wind and that will continue to drive in plenty of cloud from the Atlantic. This conveyor belt of cloud moving its way towards the UK. So things look likely to become a little more unsettled. We've seen the first signs of that so far today. And as we go through the latter stages of the afternoon, the rain will start to gather in intensity and the winds pick up gusting in excess of 40 miles an hour in Scotland. We cling on to some sunny spells in the southeast and still a little warmth, 22 degrees here but cooler and fresher as that weather front pushes in and that's going to be the story as we go through the middle of the week. So some of the rain turning quite heavy overnight tonight as it moves its way through Scotland and we'll see gale force gusts of winds on exposed coasts. Now the rain will perhaps sit across the north of England into Wales by dawn tomorrow morning and some of it still quite heavy. But there'll still be some rain around first thing in the morning. If we look at the finer detail across the northern Isles and the northwest of the Great Glen, we've got this hook of cloud and rain and still some noticeably gale force gusts of winds at times. Drier across the borders and into Northern Ireland, but there's the rain, some of it heavy across northwest England, Wales, just starting to fringe the north of the Midlands as well. Now, the southeast corner may well start off dry and bright, and you will get the lion's share of the sunshine and potentially the warmth as the weather front pushes its way steadily south, but not reaching the southeast until daylight. So here we keep the russet tones, and that denotes that temperatures will be just over 20 degrees. But further north and west, the cooler greens and the temperatures really disappointing. You'll notice the difference, highest values of around 15 or 16 in the far north of the country. And this weather front stays with us. It meanders its way north and south through Tuesday night into Wednesday, so really not much change. And it will be the difference between the cooler air up into the north and brisk winds here and slightly milder conditions slowly starting to be eaten away further south. So that basically means on Wednesday we start off with that weather front still across the Midlands, moving its way south and east. But it'll take most of the day before it arrives and then it will bring some usable rain into the southeast corner. Behind it, it's a breezy affair. It's a cooler affair with a scattering of showers into the far northwest. And this cooler feel looks likely to stay with us towards the end of the week. So generally cool. And yes, there's some more rain to come.